The My Albums folder will contain both standard and smart albums. With a standard album, we're able to manually add images from anywhere in our photo library, including other albums. Photos in a standard album can be rearranged into any order. The contents of a smart album are going to depend on what parameters are set for that album. We'll cover smart albums in the next lesson. Currently in the My Albums folder, we have several standard albums which are represented by a photo icon next to their name, and three smart albums which are represented by a gear icon next to the name. Click on an album to view its contents in a grid. Double click on an image to expand it, and use the arrow keys to move through the album. We can also do this with a two finger swipe right or left on the trackpad. Click and drag on the preview bar down here to quickly cycle through the album. Return to the album thumbnails by clicking the back arrow or pressing the spacebar. We can click and drag to rearrange the images. With an image selected, press the delete key to remove it only from the album. We can view the info window for a photo within an album and edit its information just like we can from any other library view. At the top of the window, we can play a memory video of the album or quickly start viewing it as a slideshow. We have a couple different ways to create a standard album. First, with nothing selected in the photo library, which you can be sure of by simply clicking on a white area, go to File, New Album, or use the shortcut Command N. That creates the new album here in the My Albums folder. I'm going to name this one British Columbia 2023. Next, we can start adding to the album. First, I'll select a few images here in the library, and then just drag them into the album. We can also add to an album by selecting a photo or photos, and going up to the image menu, add to, and then select the album to add the images to. We can do the same thing by right or control clicking on the selected images. It's possible to quickly create a new album using this method. I'll select a few items in my library, then right click and add to a new album. This puts those images directly into the new untitled album, which I'll name Patagonia. We can sort albums by right clicking on them in the sidebar or from the View menu. We're able to sort alphabetically by title, by having the newest image appear first or at the top, or the oldest first. If you select one of these, the manual arrangement of the album is going to be overridden. Albums in the sidebar can be moved up and down in the list. We can also create album folders. To do so, go to File, New Folder, or use the shortcut Shift Command N. I'm going to call this one Destinations. Then I'll just drag a few of my albums into it. We can use this turndown triangle to view or hide the albums in the folder. This can help save a lot of space in the sidebar. Click on the folder and we get thumbnails of each album included in the folder. Hover across these icons to get a preview of the images within the album. We get the same thumbnail previews when the My Albums folder is selected. Albums can be deleted, renamed, or duplicated with a right click here in the sidebar. Deleting an album won't delete the photos within it from our library. The items are only removed from the album.
Duplicating an album won't duplicate all those images in our library. The images are only represented in the albums, not actually copied into each one. So there's nothing wrong with having a certain photo or video added to several different albums. Next up, we'll look at how to use Smart Albums. 